In VAM, we deal with a lot of data that come in different shapes, formats, and sizes. If we look to the skies, we have colleagues that work with large amounts of weather and Earth observation data. Closer to the ground, we have colleagues who analyze price data collected from local markets. The majority of us work with data on people, what we refer to as microdata. These are data on the characteristics of units of a population, for example, individuals, households, or establishments, collected by a survey or an assessment. In VAM, household-level data is usually collected face-to-face, -face, and increasingly via remote data collection through phones. This data, which includes household demographics, food consumption patterns, expenditures, access to basic services such as health and education, coping strategies, and sometimes even child anthropometrics, are the elements that comprise VAM microdata. What happens to this data when we've moved on to the next task and the final assessment report has been sent out? Is it saved in a secure designated data repository that other colleagues can easily locate in the future? Left in a work laptop or pen drive able to be retrieved on demand? Or do we lose track of it with working drafts of semi-processed data sets saved in an office device in no recognizable or intelligible form with some bits and pieces on a cloud drive somewhere? Proper data management is important for guaranteeing reproducibility of results a gold standard in scientific research and increasingly a requirement for donor accountability, and providing access to past data records and enabling trend analysis, putting a single data point-backed situational awareness into a more robust temporal perspective. Data integration work, whether it's simple overlaying of different data sets or more complex modeling with machine learning and artificial intelligence, requires not just more data, but more good and clean data. VAM officers are expected to prepare three types of data sets. The original raw data set extracted directly from the data collection tools. The internal process data set, the cleaned and transformed version of the raw data set, which includes sampling weights, core variables and indicators such as demographic characteristics, food security related indicators and food security classification, coping strategies, expenditures, shocks, income sources, water sanitation and health related indicators, and child anthropometry if applicable, and personally identifiable information. And the external process data set, which is a redacted version of the internal process data set without personally identifiable information, such as first and last names of respondents, household members, enumerators and supervisors, GPS coordinates, phone numbers, and answers to open-ended questions, without administration levels lower than the level at which the statistical significance is set. This is to ensure the right to privacy of the people that WFP serves and prevent any loss, theft, or misuse of personal data that may cause them harm. Where the data is from joint assessments, only food security data will be shared unless all partner stakeholders agree to share the whole data set. Keep the following good practices in mind when preparing your data sets. Ensure all values and variables in the data sets are properly labeled following the standard naming conventions as defined by the VAM codebook and save and document all data transformation and analysis in syntax files. Data sets should be accompanied by all of the following documents. The final assessment report, syntax files as described previously, charts and tables from analytical output files, terms of reference of the assessment, technical notes on sampling procedures, data collection tools, analysis plan, timeline, budget and resource allocation, questionnaires, and relevant secondary data sources, such as population figures used to calculate the sampling weights. Once the data package, the three data sets and the accompanying documents is ready, you are only a few clicks away from completing the job. An easy to use desktop application is available for you to upload the files in a secure and efficient way, enabling you to store and share data while respecting the appropriate data security standards. Great job!
Your datasets are now stored in a safe place and easily identifiable and traceable for any future reference. You now no longer have to, in fact you are discouraged, to share BAM microdata through email or Dropbox or go through the process of signing a memorandum of understanding or a non-disclosure agreement when you get partner requests to share data from government, technical agencies or research institutions. Because we believe in the power and value of VAM microdata as a public good, it is the responsibility of everyone in the VAM community to contribute to this process. To learn more about how to manage and store VAM microdata, follow the steps outlined in the mandatory data sharing guidelines in the data management section of the VAM Resource Centre, where you will find other relevant resources and practical tips as well.